Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the center of curvature of the hyperbola at the given point. As a first step, we are going to differentiate this, that is 2x by a square because a is a constant we keep as it is. Similarly, 2y by b square into dy by dx equal to 0. Now we are going to take this to the other side. So, minus 2y by b square into dy by dx equal to minus 2x by a square. We can cancel minus 2. Then from this, we can write dy by dx, which is x by a square. And this y by b square, we shall carry to the other side as b square by y. So, by rearranging dy by dx is b square by a square into x by y. Now we are going to use the point a secant theta and b tan theta. So dy by dx is b square by a square into a secant theta by b tan theta, we can cancel b and the square, a and the square. So, we get dy by dx as b by a, secant theta can be written as 1 by cos theta and this is sin theta by cos theta. After cancelling, we get finally dy by dx as b by a sin theta. So, we keep this separately. Now, from this, we are going to find its second derivative where u is x, v is y and u by v method is u dash v minus u v dash by v square. So, when we differentiate, we get its second derivative d square y by dx square. We keep the constant b square by a square separately. u dash which is 1 into b minus u into v dash which is the differentiation of y dy by dx by b square. Now we are going to substitute the value of x and y and dy by dx. So b square by a square y is b tan theta, this is a secant theta and this is b by a sin theta whole division b square tan square theta. We can cancel this a and a. Now we are going to change everything into sin and cos form for better simplification. So this is b sin theta by cos theta minus secant can be written as 1 by cos theta and b by sin theta. To make common denominator, we are going to multiply into sin theta and into sin theta and along with that, in the denominator, we have b tan square theta. Even this tan square theta can be written as sin square theta by cos square theta so that we can further simplify. Now, in the numerator, we have a common LCM which is sin theta into cos theta. So, this will become B sin square theta. We can also take a B common. So, what I will do is, we keep into B. So, this will become sin square theta minus 1. So, now the bracket close. Then, this term will go to the numerator as a reciprocal product. You can actually take the entire term. So, this will become cos square theta by b square sin square theta. Now, we can cancel b square and b square. Then, this cos and this square. And by trigonometric identity, we have sin square theta plus 
cos by theta equal to 1. This 1 can be taken here. So, sin square theta minus 1 is equal to cos square theta will go to the other side minus cos square theta. So, this can be replaced as minus cos square theta. So, finally, this is v by a square into minus cos square theta by sin theta into cos theta by sin square theta. So, combining we get d square y by dx square as minus v by a square cos cube theta by sin cube theta. Now we are going to find x bar and y bar. So, the formula for x bar is x minus dy by dx into 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole division d square y by dx square. Now we are going to replace all the value x is a secant theta and this is b by a sin theta 1 plus and d by dx whole square is b square by a square sin square theta and the second derivative is minus b by a square minus b by a square cos cube theta by sin cube theta. Now we can cancel this b and b a and this square and this minus we can cancel and make this as plus. So, this is x bar equal to a secant theta can be written as a by cos theta plus we have 1 by sin theta. Even this we can cut. This will become square. So, in the numerator we are going to take LCM a square sin square theta. So, this will become a square sin square theta plus b square and this term the remaining term is taken as a reciprocal product to the numerator which is a sin square theta by cos cube theta. So, we can cancel this a and the square sin square and sin square. We left with only a cos cube theta. So, let us write it again then we go for LCM a by cos theta plus a square sin square theta plus b square by a cos cube theta. So, to make a common denominator we multiply a cos square theta here and here. So, this becomes a square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta. So, when we add this before that we take the common denominator a cos cube theta a square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta will become only a square and there is a b square because we take a square common we left with cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1 so we left with only a square and finally the x bar can be rewritten as a square plus b square by a into 1 by cos cube theta can be written as secant cube theta. So, we got x bar the same way we are going to find y bar for that the formula is y plus 1 plus dy by dx whole square by d square y by dx square. So, this is b tan theta plus 1 plus square is b by a sin theta whole square which is b square by a square sin square theta whole division this will be minus b by a square minus b by a square cos cube theta by sin cube theta. Now, this is b into sin theta by cos theta 
we are going to take LCM which is A square sin square theta. So A square sin square theta plus B square and this entire term we can take reciprocal and multiply in the numerator itself into A square sin cube theta by minus B cos cube theta. So from this we can easily cancel a square and this a square sin square and the sin cube alone. So only one sin is remaining. Let us write the remaining term properly. So b into sin theta by cos theta and we have a bracket here plus we multiply this sin theta with inside of this. So a square sin cube theta plus b square sin theta whole division minus b cos cube theta. So when we take LCM we have to multiply this into minus b cos square theta here also into minus b cos square theta. Then only we get the common denominator minus b cos cube theta. So let us take minus b cos cube theta and here it is minus b square sin square theta plus a square sin cube theta plus b square sin theta. Sorry, the first term is minus b square sin theta into cos square theta. Now we are going to group the last two terms. So first term a square sin cube theta is written as it is plus from the first and last term we can take b square and sin theta common. So here it will become minus cos square theta is left and this will become plus 1. So from trigonometric identity 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. So totally we have this is a square sin cube theta and this entire term will become sin square theta 1 minus, sin, 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. So now it is plus b square sin square theta into sin theta is sin cube theta whole divided by minus b into cos cube theta. So totally we can take sin cube theta common. So a square plus b square by minus b and when sin cube theta is taken common we have sin cube theta by cos cube theta that can be rewritten as tan cube theta. So whole thing into tan cube theta. Now we combine both x bar and y bar. So the center of curvature x bar and y bar is x bar is a square let us check here a square plus b square by a into secant cube. So this is a square plus b square by a into secant cube theta let us keep this in a bracket comma this minus we can write it here minus a square plus b square by b tan q theta. So this is our required center of curvature.